2010 is still really tight. So, can Queen's Park Rangers be the first team to beat Manchester City? Joe Hart hopes that won't be the case, and the City goalkeeper's been talking to Daryl Curry. Every day I'm shuffling. Well, Joe, it's been a while since the FA Cup final. A while since I last saw you, since that crazy interview. Explain all, finally. Oh, every day I'm shuffling. It was in my head at the time. Um, me and Adam Johnson had, uh, had listened to it on a few different occasions, so I don't know, it was just it was on my mind at the time, and we were having fun with it, so I thought I'd throw it in there. Was that, so far, though, the, the pinnacle of your career to date, do you think, that, that moment at Wembley? Yeah, yeah, I think so, you know, to actually win something there. And to be involved in FA Cup finals is amazing, but I don't know, it's hard to give pinnacles because so many good things have happened, you know, obviously bad as well, but lots of good have happened as well. I noticed Nigel de Jong saying last week that that final has really been the driving force behind everything good that's happening now because you've tasted this success now, you want more. Do you go along with that? Yeah, obviously. I think he's spot on in what he's saying. There's a lot of doubt on this club, uh, you know, that goes on, which is just standard procedure with, you know, the money and stuff they're putting in, which is fair enough. But, you know, to win something has bought us a little bit of a breathing space, a bit more respect as well, I think. And, you know, we've really pushed on since then. You, you haven't have pushed on. I mean, some fantastic moments already this season, the derby and the amount of goals they're scoring. You must stand back at times in goal and just and watch and wonder. Waste of time you've been there, <laughs> I swear. But, um, no, it's great. We're really, really, really clinical. I think the, the lads up front are second to none, but I think they'll be the first to tell you, you know, throughout the side we're looking very good, you know, the back four have been solid and I think everyone's feeling good. You were the first to say, delighted to have won, but upset you lost the goal. Yeah, fuming. I think we have been as Were you really? Yeah, I think all of us, you know, we talk about it as a, as a backfire collectively and, you know, the manager weren't happy, we weren't happy. Um, we shouldn't be leaking those, those little goals, you know, giving people a glimpse and uh, we've done it a few, few too many times this season and we need to eradicate that. That sort of perfectionism, does that come from the manager, from Roberto? Obviously he's a perfectionist, but you know, we're professionals and we, we take real pride in our work and it's great for a striker to score three, but for us to clean sheet, get a clean sheet, that's just as good, you know, so yeah, we work as a group and, and we try and eradicate those, those mistakes. What can you achieve this season? What level would you constitute as being successful? I've never been the one to go really more than a week in advance of what's going on personally. And that would be, uh, you know, winning the QPR game first and foremost, and then moving on from there. Is the danger complacency for a team that's doing so well? We saw it away at Fulham, perhaps, and you go to grounds like QPR. They're difficult grounds. They've beaten Chelsea there. It's not complacency. I think it's just the high standard of the league. I don't think not here we turn up anyway, thinking we're going to win this. But sometimes, you know, you play, you're playing against good sides with a lot of heart and you know great crowds, good managers, and you're going to come unstuck sometimes. We just need to battle through those times. Yeah.